Rafaela is an angel capable of miraculously healing anything. It is said that when she appears, all pain suddenly vanishes, all wounds instantly heal, and all evil disperses like rain clouds when the sun comes out. Now, Rafaela has descended upon the land of dawn in the hopes of using her miraculous powers to restore peace to the land. Hello guys, Jadil here and today I will teach the basics of Rafaela. Rafaela is a good support hero, uh, she is also a good poke hero, very easy to play so if you are a MOBA player who loves to play support heroes then this hero is for you, Rafaela won't disappoint you. So Rafaela's main role is a support hero. She can also poke with a mage build which I will provide later. She can also be a tank or support. So Rafaela has two skins in the game. The original skin is called Wings of Holiness. And the second one is the Fertility Goddess which costs around 399 diamonds. Um, let's check out their skills guys. Um, Rafaela's skills are magic type. Physical items won't have any effect on these. So for her passive, uh, Rafaela has a skill named Heaven's Blessing. So whenever Rafaela casts a spell and hits an enemy, it will slow down an enemy by 1.5 seconds while heal spells will boost nearby allies for 1 second. This passive is great for slowing down an enemy or chasing an enemy. Basic attacks won't trigger this passive, so her first skill is called Light of Retribution. Rafaela uses the power of the Holy Light to deal magic damage to the nearest three enemies. This skill triggers Rafaela's passive which slows down an enemy as well. Her second skill is called Holy Healing. Rafaela summons Holy Light to regen HP for herself and most of her injured allies near her also regens HP for other allied heroes. This skill will benefit a nearby ally with the lowest HP as, providing, as well as providing healing over time or HOT uh, effect to nearby allies. This will trigger Rafaela's passive allowing nearby enemies to gain movement speed for 1 second. And for the Rafaela's ulti, it's called the Holy Baptism. Rafaela uses the Holy Light to punish enemies before her dealing magic damage and stunning targets for 1.5 seconds. This skill is a great set starter for team fights and it can change the course of the game by st stunning enemies during team fights. So let's move on to the skill sequence. My skill sequence will consist of two types. First one is the support tank Rafaela and the second one is the mage poke Rafaela. For my support tank Rafaela, I will master the second skill first, then the first skill, then the ulti whenever you can. This will improve Rafaela's heals which will improve your team's survivability as well. Now for mage poke Rafaela, I will master the first skill first, then the second skill, then the ulti whenever you can. This will improve Rafaela's poke damage if you are building Mage Rafaela. Now for the item builds. Since you guys are the best, I will provide two item builds for my Rafaela guide. For the first one is the support Rafaela. I will start off with Enhanced Talisman. This item is Rafaela's friend. It gives HP, cooldown reduction and mana regen. It also gives mana by 20% whenever you kill an enemy or assist an ally. So the second one is the Courage Bulwark. This item will improve Rafaela's HP and regen as well as improving your allies defenses, nearby allies defenses and attack by 10%. It is a great support item, definitely buy this. And for the boots, I uh, recommend it uh, when you get the courage will work or as early as early game maybe the starter set you can buy the boots i recommend you to upgrade the boots to rabbit boots movement speed is important to support to a support of ella because you need to reach team fights in time to help your team 
and my next item will be Sun Scepter this will improve Raphael's mana regen and mana itself uh, this item is not really used in the game because uh, players doesn't know the capabilities of this item so I tried it and it, it proves my, uh, the mana regen for Rafaela it is an excellent item for mana regen to do the fact that Rafaela is a mana hungry hero <laughs> since you need to spam those heal spells and poke spells this item is recommended so my second to the last item is frost this item will improve Raphael's passive by adding extra 10% slow for every spell cast. It also stacked by 3 times. This item also gives 7% bonus movement speed and banner region. So my last item will be Dominance Ice. My last item for Rafaela because it gives 70 armor, 500 mana and 5% crit reduction. Great item since Rafaela is squishy and it also gives 20% cooldown reduction and lowers nearby enemy moves movement speed by 5% and attack speed by 30% now let's move on for my mage Rafaela build uh, my first build will be enhanced talisman which gives city reduction and mana regen and for my second build I will build guardian relic it basically improves Rafaela's poke my, for my boots, I will use an arcane boots, which gives magic reduction. Uh, it reduces the magic resistance, so that means better damage against an enemy hero. And my next item will be the Flame of Fury. Rafaela can now burn targets HP by 6% of targets max HP and own HP as magic damage for 3 seconds. It also adds magic reduction by 25% and movement speed by 5%. My next item, my second and the last item will be fleeing time. Flee, fleeing time <laughs> reduces CD and resets C cooldown by 30% with each kill. And my last build will be Astral Wand which adds magic penetration up to 70% when HP is above 70%. So the disadvantage of this build is that your Rafaela will be squishy, <laughs> very squishy. So I recommend you to always spam your spells, um, wait for the cooldown. So anyways, let's skip to the um, spells abilities. I prefer, I prefer Arrival or Flicker because Arrival is a great spell for map control, speed pushing or just defense. You can easily go to any point of the map where ally minions are present or ally towers. So for my emblem set, so for my emblem set, I use magic emblem set for both support mage Rafaela because it adds cooldown reduction at high levels of the emblem set and gives good HP as well as magic damage. So my tips for Rafaela guys, always always check the minimap. It's located in your top left um, corner. <laughs> Not sure for other devices, but for iOS, I guess uh, it, it's all the same in all devices. It's located in the top left. Always check the minimap. Where's your ally? What's your ally doing? Always check it. And always keep your range and spam your spells whenever necessary. Don't use your ulti. Always check that circle thing. That's your range, okay? Always check that, um, keep your range, mind your timing, practice your ulti. This can change the course of the game, guys. Um, I saw, I think I saw a good Rafaela before. She stunned an enemy. <laughs> Five of them, just bam, they won because of that stun. So always, always practice your timing when using your ulti. Always heal your ally whenever needed. That's important because you're a support hero. And support heroes basically helps your team to protect your carries and protect your team as possible and use your spells wisely in game use your arrival spell whenever defending etc so try to present try, try to be present <laughs> in every team fight so that's my guide for Rafael guys I hope you learned something from me today and I hope you'll do good with this build I just hope that you'll do well as well. Keep practicing. Try to use Rafaela more often because we really need more supports in the game. 
So guys, thank you guys for watching. See you guys in my next video. Goodbye.